How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 back again with another episode of our UFC Save and WMMA Five. And here today we have UFC Fight Night: Ponzinibbio versus Ferguson. But first, we start out with some sad news. Junior Dos Santos has ended his career after a record of 27 and 11. <coughs> he goes 21 and 10 in his UFC career. He was coming off two straight losses to Sergey Pavlovich and Alistair Overeem. Had himself a pretty good save, honestly. He went one, two, three, four, five, six. He went six and four during the course of this save. Uh, best of luck to Junior Dos Santos. I tried to talk him out of retirement. <clears throat> he wasn't having it. So he retires as the number 12 heavyweight in the UFC. All the best of luck to him. Our next episode is going to be interesting. It's going to be Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor 2 live from Brazil. Aldo versus McGregor 2. That's going to be a big episode. That's going to be very, very interesting. So hopefully you guys enjoy that one. But let's get into this one. But first, let's go ahead and update our rankings. And as you can see, a lot of difference uh, after Junior retired. Uh, so everyone at heavyweight moved up. And uh, we're going to see if there's any big difference. I don't think so, mainly because I think it automatically updates at the end of the week. So this is not the best way to go about it. But you can go ahead and pause at any point there if you wanted to take a look at those rankings. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We have Ponzinibbio and Ferguson taking place in Argentina, as a matter of fact. The home place of Santiago Ponzinibbio. Let's get into it. Starting, of course, with the prelims. Jordan Young taking on Gordon Ryan in the light heavyweight division. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu phenom Gordon Ryan can't win. Unanimous decision victory for Jordan Young. Improves to 17-3. and three. Gideon Drochke taking on Jordan Johnson. Also in the light heavyweight division. And it's Gideon Grodsky drawing with Jordan Johnson here today. Interesting. The second draw of Jordan's career. And uh, Gideon getting a draw after his initial loss in his UFC debut. Uh, Gadji Murad and Tigilov taking on Jacare Sosa. Jacare has not retired yet. This is his light heavyweight debut. Making quite a bit of money. Uh... Or actually, no, it's not his light heavyweight debut. He lost his light heavyweight debut to Jordan Young. And Jacare Sosa gets his submission in round one on the prelims. Uh, he might be retiring soon. And no, Jacare is going to keep on trucking along. Duke Didier taking on Jonathan Bravo Wilson at 205. And it's Didier getting the rear naked choke in round number three. Batrazek Nayev taking on Kyle Dawkins. Also in the 205 division, 14-2, uh, and two, taking on 12-3, and three, and it is Kyle Dawkins getting the round one Darce choke, improving to 15-2. and two. Alonzo Menafield taking on Timo Feet in the 205 division. Menafield, 36 years old, Feet is 27, and it's Menafield with the first round TKO, the 14th win of his career. He's now 7-4 and four in his UFC career. Moving right along, Chris Birchler taking on Lucas Bezerski in the heavyweight division. Birchler's heavyweight debut, and it's Bezerski getting the knockout over the big buck Birchler in round number three. Who apparently is a big fan of his knockout power. Uh, Natalia Silva taking on Mayrong Ho in the strawweight division, and it is Mayrong Ho getting the first round knockout with nine seconds to spare in round number one. She's now 4-0. In her UFC career. Larissa Pacheco taking on Mackenzie Halliburton in the featherweight division. Pacheco a big favorite in this one and with good reason. Knocks out Mackenzie Halliburton in round number one. It was a good fight. The 20th win of her career. She's now 2-3 and three in the UFC after losing to Sinead Kavanaugh in her last appearance. Uh, Janez Kolvinskas taking on Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson in our final prelim in the flyweight division. Number 22, Kolvinskas, 1-0 in his UFC career, taking on veteran legend Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who has just not been having a very good, just not been having a good save. I mean, we brought him right back in, put him up against Joseph Benavidez, lost to TKOs, and since then he's only 2-3-1. and three and one. Has not been having a good time. 
And he gets knocked out by Janus Kolvinskis on the prelims in round number one. Kolvinskis is looking like a good prospect, but man, it really sucks how Mighty Mouse is not that good in this save. Main card time, and it is Jeremy Stevens taking on Pavel Vitruk in the featherweight division. Jeremy Stevens narrowly making weight there. Big favorite, and Vitruk knocks out Jeremy Stevens in round number one. Vitruk ranked at number 20. He's 3-0 in his UFC career now, and he might just be trucking along. Johnny Walker taking on Saba Hosh in the light heavyweight division. Johnny Walker 21 and 11, big underdog against Saba Hosh 13 and 1, and 5 and 0 in his UFC career. Make it 6 and 0 TKO in less than a minute from Saba Hosh. And his first or second ranked opponent, I should say, that he beats here today. Gary Tonin taking on Dan the Hangman Hooker in the 155 division. Hooker 24 and 13 taking on Tonin who is 12 and 1, 5 and 1 in his UFC career, coming off three straight wins, the last one being over Justin Gaethje. And it is Gary Tonin getting the submission due to an armbar in round number 1. Hooker has not been doing very well. Uh, you can see there went over Evander Kuna's last time out, but he is probably going to dip into the bottom 15. Zhang Jinan taking on Paige Van Zant in the flyweight division. Uh, Zhang Nan, no, fi no fight team, but she's coming off a pretty solid performance in one championship. Paige Van Zandt, on the other hand, 9-9 nine nine in her UFC career, coming off a win over Tiffany Teo. And wow! <laughs> Welcome to the UFC, says Paige Van Zandt. A TKO victory for the 29-year-old in this one. She's now 13-10. and 10. Rory McDonald taking on Al Iaquinta in our co-main event. At 165 in the uh, super lightweight, yeah, super lightweight division. Uh, Ally Quinn is having a tough time. Four straight losses. He needs to figure something out. He takes on Rory McDonald, 13 and seven in his UFC career, coming off a loss to Eddie Alvarez. Before that, unanimous decision over Conor McGregor. McDonald having himself a good time since he's come back to the UFC, and it's Ally Quinta with a big win over Rory McDonald. A much needed win for him, honestly. Doesn't even have a fight team, but he gets the TKO victory. And our main event of the evening, Santiago Ponzinibbio taking on Tony Ferguson in our main event. Ferguson, 39 years old in the save. Number three in the lightweight division. Coming off a win over Carlos Diego Fajeda. I believe it was supposed to be for the title, but he missed weight. Yeah, Ferguson missed weight and won the fight. So he would have been the champion, but he missed weight. Ferguson's a weird case. Ponzinibbio, on the other hand, coming off a win over Chaos Williams. Before that, lost to Leon Edwards in the Super Lightweight Grand Prix. It's our main event live from Argentina. Hometown boy, Santiago Ponzinibbio, going at it against Tony El Cucuy Ferguson. It should be a good one. Two left hands on the counter. Ponzinibbio trying to go with the right hook. Can't get it. Ferguson coming forward. Ponzinibbio with a jab. Nothing lands from Ferguson nearly halfway through round number one. Ferguson attacking with strikes. Ponzi hits a jab. Halfway through round number one. Ponzinibbio hits a jab. Misses right hook. Lands a leg kick, does Ferguson. Round one nearly under... Under wraps. A pair of jabs lands from Ponzi. Ponzinibbio looking to threaten here, but really can't do so as round one is coming to a close. Cross blocked. Quick head kick. Round one comes to a close. And apparently it went to Ponzinibbio as round two is back underway. Ponzinibbio was a big uh, underdog coming into this one against Ilakukui. Lovely right head kick scores. Ferguson forcing the initiative. Engaging in the center. Left hand of the body. Kick to the leg lands from Ferguson. Two counter lefts. Counter jab misses. Quick exchange. Nothing doing. 
Round two is rather pedestrian. Low kick to the legs. Ferguson coming forward to attack. Can't connect with a head kick. Ferguson pressuring hard, but it looks like Ponzinibbio might be landing more somehow. Well off target with a head kick. Trade leather. Round two comes to a close. They have a 10-9 Ferguson, so apparently even at 1-1. One to one. Interesting here in our main events. Uh-oh. Pulls half guard here. Interesting to see because Ferguson's really good on the ground. Not much going on, but Ferguson is on top, so you'd imagine he's winning the round. Dan Mergliata stands him up. Did not see too much. Nice right hook lands for Ferguson as round three comes to a close. Right hook lands for Ferguson again, and Ferguson is getting tired. Fun round to watch. That went to Ferguson, so it's apparently two to one. Bell for the fourth round into the main event rounds now. Quick punch does not land. Sucked into the guard. Ponzinibbio now in... Or no, Ponzinibbio has Ferguson in his guard. Uh, scramble, being pack pulling guard, trying to pass guard. Scrambling. One minute in round number four. Scramble. North-south position. Ponzinibbio taking a couple elbows. And Ferguson just round one, round one. It's three to one now. Ferguson just... Got pulled into guard and just stayed on top of him for that round, it looks like. It's looking like Il Kukui is going to win a decision here. Into the clinch now, back against the cage. Landing a right hook is Ponzinibbio. Ferguson nails a right cross. Minute and a half left to go in the fifth round. It's looking like Ferguson's going to pull it off. Order 11, how's it going, my man? Hope you are having a great day. I'm doing good. Our main event is just coming to a close. Ferguson is exhausted. That's to be expected. And time has run out on the fight. So five rounds have come to a close. It's looking like Ferguson has pulled it out. They say that round went to Ponzinibbio. We are in Argentina. Some sketchy shit could happen. Official scores are being reported now. Oh, geez, it's a split decision. After five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Referee Sal Diamato scores the contest 48-47 Ferguson. Judge Douglas Crosby scores the contest 48-47 Ponzinibbio. And a referee, or Judge Cardo Urso, scores the contest 48-47 for the winner by split decision, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. So Tony Ferguson, winner by split decision in a decent main event fight here today. Uh, he's upset the judges didn't give him the unanimous decision win. Uh, nearly 3,000 in Argentina came through to see their boy Ponzinibbio lose. No popularity changes. That is okay. Let's see. It was an all right day. Love to hear it, man. Let's see who's going to win our fight of the night. Nod. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go to Didier and Wilson. And then any first round uh, finishes. We've got Gary Tonin, Saba Hosh, Pavel Vitruk. Ooh, got a lot on the prelims. we got Kolvinskis, Pacheco, Mayrong Hu. got Menafield. we got Kyle Dawkins. We got Jacare. Everyone walking home with 100K. You love to see it. And then we're making a fat loss on that card because of all those freaking performance bonuses we gave out. It rained today, so that sucks. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, where are you at? That's raining so much. You in like Seattle or something like that? Uh, but Rory McDonald, top earner on the night, 450K. Tony Ferguson, Jacare Sosa, and Yanis Kolvinskis in amongst that. 
And uh, that's going to do it. Lose nearly a million dollars there, but we're going to make that back. We're going to make that back in bountiful amounts with UFC 300, which is uh, the next pay-per-view. But our next episode is going to be uh, Aldo versus McGregor 2. Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor 2, which should be very interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoy the next one. I'm AZ Plow 21 If you haven't done so already, uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Links are down in the description below. You guys have a good one.